Welcome to Career Guidance Max Playlist. In this video, I am going to start problem number 4 in Lagrange's multiplier method. The problem is x square minus y z into small p plus y square minus z x into q is equal to z square minus x y. So I am going to compare with our general Lagrange's linear equation capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q is equal to r. So compare this to and I'm going to write a capital P equal to x square minus y z, capital Q equal to y square minus z x, capital R is equal to z square minus x y. Okay. So after this, we have to write the subsidiary equation dx divided by capital P, dy divided by capital Q, and equal to dz divided by capital R. So here you can substitute that P, Q, R value. So I substituted dx divided by x square minus y z equal to dy divided by y square minus zx is equal to dz divided by z square minus xy. So after substituting this all values pqr, we have to apply two multiplier and we have to find c1, c2 answer. Okay, so here again one different problem. So here when uh, adding directly denominator term in subsidiary equation, can you get 0 x square minus y, y square plus z square we cannot able to eliminate so 1 1 1 not possible x y z x when substituting here x you will get x cube here uh, you were not get x cube like that so x y z also not possible can we interchange the term y z x when substituting y z uh, x means y x square minus y square z and uh, z y square minus z square x and here uh, x now x z square minus x square y so it's possible we can eliminate the term so i'm taking one multiply here y z x okay so i'm writing i'm writing here one multiplier y z x i am going to take one multiplier y z x so i am using the operator plus y into dx plus z into dy plus x into dz divided by y into x square minus y z plus z into y square minus z x plus x into z square minus x y equal to any ratio so that y dx plus z dy plus x dz divided by y x square minus y square z multiply with y and multiply with z now z y square minus z square x plus x z square minus x square y is equal to any ratio now y x square minus y x square cancel minus y square z plus y square z cancel minus x z square plus x z square cancel so you will get y dx plus z dy plus x dz divided by 0 equal to any ratio ok the 0 shift to right hand side every entire term becomes 0 y dx plus z dy plus x dz equal to you will get 0 now integrating the term y is constant because here we have to integrate with respect to x you will get x and z is here constant integration with respect to y y and here x is constant integrate with respect to z you will get z equal to c1 so this one i am writing x y plus y z plus z x this is your first one answer c1 
when applying multiplier y is at x, we will get one answer. Okay. Then, second one. So, the second one here, I am going to apply the method. Second one, I am going to apply grouping method, but in a different way. So, so this is our subsidiary equation dx divided by x square minus y z is equal to dy divided by y square minus z x is equal to dz divided by z square minus x y. Okay, here I am going to apply grouping method. Before applying grouping method, here I am going to subtract dx and dy, and again dy minus dz. I am going to subtract and equating the term so that I am writing here this one dx minus dy divided by dx term is x square minus y z and minus of dy term is y square minus z x is equal to and again dy dz subtract dy minus dz divided by y term y square minus z x and minus z term z square minus x y so now i am going to simplify this term so dx minus dy divided by x square minus y z then multiply with minus minus y square plus z x minus and minus plus is equal to here dy minus dz divided by y square minus zx minus z square plus xy okay so after this i'm writing again dx minus dy divided by here x square minus y square at written commonly x square minus y square from this zx and minus y z here the common term is plus z i am taking outside common term plus z and i am writing plus x minus of this y x y numerator term dx minus dy x minus y denominator term also one term x minus y according to that we have to take outside okay so here i am writing dy minus dz divided by y square minus z square into from this two term plus x as a common term taking outside plus y and minus z you can write after that here i'm going to apply the formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b i'm going to apply this formula here x square minus y square i'm going to write in the manner of a square minus b square so x minus y and x plus y plus z of x minus y is equal to dy minus dz divided by y square minus z square i'm going to write y minus z and y plus z plus x of y minus z okay then dx minus dy divided by here common term x minus y taking outside x minus y is a common term and remaining i'm writing x plus y and plus z we taken from this x minus y outside okay then here i'm writing dy minus dz divided by I take on y minus z common term from this remaining I will write this x and plus y plus z. Okay, both side we can cancel this x plus y plus z and this dx minus dy I am writing uh, differentiation of x minus y divided by x minus y and here also I am writing d of y minus z and divided by y minus z. Now we can integrate 
integrity on both sides already i told differentiation integrand term with respect to x minus y your function also x minus y we can write log x minus y and here we can write log of y minus z and put one constant log c2 already you know that y we are applying c2 so here i am writing log x minus y right hand side term you can shift to left hand side minus log y minus z equal to log c2 log a minus log b we can write log of a by b in that manner we can write log of x minus y divided by y minus z equal to log c2 okay then uh, we can take uh, exponential on both side we will get uh, c2 equal to x minus y divided by y minus z so this is our uh, c2 answer then i am writing the general solution the general solution is phi of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 so that phi of c1 is xy plus y z plus z x and c2 is x minus y divided by y minus z is equal to 0 is this our final answer for this problem uh, this method I am going to continue furthermore uh, two videos okay thank you pa any doubt you can uh, comment me S subscribe our channel thank you